Well, a historic trial begins on the U.S. Capitol Hill. Now, it's a stark contrast from slightly over a month ago when rioters stormed the building, marking the very place as the crime scene of the trial itself. Judy. Yeah, the Senate has declared the impeachment trial constitutional, paving the way for hearings to begin later today. A debate on the constitutionality kicked off proceedings earlier with House impeachment managers answering this question. Can a former president stand trial? This was a national tragedy, a disaster for America's standing in the world. And President Trump is singularly responsible for inciting it. A January exception. And everyone can see immediately why this is so dangerous. It's an invitation to the president to take his best shot at anything he may want to do on his way out the door. Presidents can't inflame insurrection in their final weeks and then walk away like nothing happened. And yet that is the rule that President Trump asks you to adopt. Well, the House impeachment managers opened their case with this video, a timeline of the events that transpired on Capitol Hill. Senators forced to relive the violent events on January 6th, riots and violence intercut with former President Trump's actions on the day itself, from his tweets to the very rally that Democrats believe incited the violence. That's a high crime and misdemeanor. If that's not an impeachable offense, then there is no such thing. And if the president's arguments for a January exception are upheld, then even if everyone agrees that he's culpable for these events, even if the evidence proves, as we think it definitively does, that the president incited a violent insurrection on the day Congress met to finalize the presidential election, he would have you believe there is absolutely nothing the Senate can do about it. Now, you may have heard the lead prosecutor, Jamie Raskin, mention the phrase January exception there. It's a term coined by the House impeachment managers that no president should be excused from conviction, even if it's the final weeks of their term. But instead of arguing directly on the constitutionality of the trial, Donald Trump's defense lawyers defended the former president's remarks, claiming the trial is an attack on free speech and accused Democrats of pursuing suing the trial to prevent Mr. Trump from becoming a political rival. Let's understand why we are really here. We are really here because the majority in the House of Representatives does not want to face Donald Trump as a political rival in the future. That's the real reason we're here. Well, for more, we are joined by Simon Marks in Washington, D.C. And Simon, you know, what do you make of those opening statements by both sides? We've witnessed an extraordinary study in contrasts here over the last few hours. You heard there Congressman Jamie Raskin, the lead uh, prosecutor, essentially, the impeachment manager from the Democrats, uh, laying out at times a very emotional case as he recounted what his own family had gone through on January the 6th as that violent mob of Donald Trump's supporters engaged in their deadly assault of the U.S. Capitol building after having been told by President Trump to march to the Capitol in a bid to try and prevent uh, senators uh, and members of Congress from affirming uh, the outcome of the American presidential election and Joe Biden's uh, victory in that election. But then uh, there was, I think, consternation uh, as the Senate was treated to an absolutely incoherent presentation uh, by uh, President Trump's new legal team uh, and several Republicans as a result of what they said was a stunningly bad performance by uh, the president's lawyers then went on and voted with the Democrats to suggest that the trial was constitutional. So six Republicans sided with the Democrats in the vote that was taken place, that took place at the end of the day's debate, allowing the full trial to go ahead. Donald Trump will view that uh, as a disastrous outcome from today. Uh, and uh, criticism is really being focused uh, on his lawyer, Bruce Castor, uh, who was rambling, incoherent, 
coherent even as he presented what passed for his conclusion. The people are smart enough in the light most favorable to them. They're smart enough to pick a new administration if they don't like the old one. And they just did. The object of the Constitution has been achieved. He was removed by the voters. There isn't a single one of you who doesn't consider the other 99 to be patriots of the United States. And that is why this attack on the Constitution will not prevail. Reports from Mar-a-Lago in Florida, where Donald Trump was watching his lawyers as they made their presentations, suggest that he was incandescent over their performance. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens overnight, because in just a few hours' time, the meat of this trial gets underway. That's right, Simon. And while several GOP senators praise the impeachment manager's opening arguments, well, some say nothing can change their minds. Why is there hesitation among Republicans to accept the constitutionality of the trial? Look, the easy answer to that question, Julie, is because Donald Trump is still the central figure in Republican politics, even though he's out of office, uh, out of public sight and now on trial for his political life, because uh, a conviction at this trial would mean that he would never be able to seek public office again. Republican senators who are now members of his jury uh, are under assault from Republican voters, warning them not to turn against the former president. But as we've seen just in the last a uh, uh, little while here, uh, his lawyers are going to have to really improve their performance because with some Republicans now indicating that on the issue of the trial's constitutionality, at least they were prepared to vote with the Democrats, that does open up the possibility uh, that Donald Trump could start to lose some support among Republicans in the Senate. Not enough uh, to result uh, in his conviction, I suspect, uh, but they will be much more worried tonight about the outcome of all of this than they will have been this morning.